on any given night during a stroll on Bourbon Street, you may see Satan's War, a white horse wearing an NOPD saddle blanket with a police officer riding on his back. But what you don't see, what isn't visible to the naked eye, is what's inside his pedigree. Satan's War is the grandson of racing legend Secretariat, the thoroughbred who in 1973 became the first Triple Crown champion in 25 years and set two records along the way, both of which still stand today. Satan's War didn't have such a storied career on the track, but found his niche off it. He raced in 1990, 91, and 92 before a knee injury forced him into retirement. Then Satan's War was donated to the NOPD's Mounted Division, where he got a fresh start and has faithfully served for 20 years. 20 years is a long time for a, for a horse to be working, and he's, in, he's still in good shape. NOPD officer Wayne Remore has ridden Satan's War for the past 11 years. Even though he's in great shape, he is old by horse standards, and because of his age, his time in the limelight and heat is limited. We use him for special events, you know, he, he'll work Essence Fest and Bayou Classic and the Sugar Bowl and Mardi Gras, he hasn't missed a Mardi Gras yet. A stark contrast from his nightlife, this is where Satan's War spends his days, surrounded by 26 other horses. Two of them are former Budweiser Clydesdales, but Satan's War is the star. Unlike his plodding pace on Bourbon Street, the NOPD stables here at City Park give Satan's War a chance to reconnect with his past, perhaps reminding the old thoroughbred of the old days at the track. When Satan's War is turned loose, they love to run. The 1,000 pound thoroughbred doesn't waste any time. He saw the other horse in the arena. He, uh, he started getting pumped up. You saw he wanted to go. As soon as I let him go, he took off. A couple of things to keep in mind. Satan's War doesn't care for people to pet him, so avoid that if you see him in the quarter. He also chews on his tongue a lot. Yeah. That means he's thirsty, right? No. It's just, uh, it's kind of a habit that a lot of race horses pick up because, you know, they, uh, they tie their tongues down sometimes when they race to keep their airway open. And one more thing, Satan's war sometimes, for obvious reasons, goes by an alias. We, we brought him to the schools a few times and we used Snowball for the younger kids. No matter what you call this thoroughbred with great genes, he continues to protect and serve. Scott Walker, WDSU News.